peut pas aimer tout le monde. Surtout qu'on sait pas qui c'est. Et toi, qui aimes-tu Moi, je n'aime que toi. Et toi Moi, c'est pareil. Je n'aime que toi aussi. Tu es le plus gentil ramoneur que j'ai jamais connu. Tu es la plus jolie bergère que j'ai jamais vue. Tu en avais beaucoup d'autres Non. Je n'en ai même pas rêvé. Salut les amis, j'espère que ça va bien. Today I'm doing this uh, bit special, very short video to introduce you to a French movie that I think is very, very interesting to watch for people who are uh, learning the French language. Okay? So I will basically explain to you a bit what the movie is about and then I will give you three very good, very precise reasons why I think this is especially smart to watch this movie if you are learning the French language, okay? So the name of the movie is Le Roi et l'Oiseau, which means the king and the bird, okay? So this is why the English name of the movie is The King and the Mockingbird. It actually came twice in the theaters, but the real uh, most famous version, the one that you can find everywhere nowadays, is from 1980, but the movie is actually way older than this, okay? It first came out in the theater at the time in France, in 1953 for the small information and over the years it became this huge monument of French cinema and nowadays it's commonly considered as like a like, masterpiece basically of French cinema and of animation overall. So you saw the two main characters of the movie in the small like the small snippets of the movie in the introduction of this video. So the story is about a chimney sweep and a shepherdess who are basically originally, they are inside paintings, and so they escape from their paintings, and for the, for the whole movie, they will run away from a tyrannical king, who will try to chase them, and they will live like through a whole, a whole lot of adventures in this chase, and they will be helped by a bird, who also hates the king, and so, you know, like this is... A lot of things will happen in the, in the kingdom when they run away from the king. The movie is quite short, it's only one hour long, so, you know, no excuse not to watch it. I personally think it's a good idea to watch the movie in French, obviously, with French subtitles if you maybe already have like the B1 or B2 level, you know, so you can already understand the, the movie. And if you really cannot speak French at all, but you still want to watch it, then you can watch it in French with English subtitles, it's still good, okay? But for those of you who can already understand a bit, in my opinion and from my like uh, scientific understanding, I think it's very interesting to watch in French with the French subtitles. So you make the link in your brain, you know, between what you hear and what you read. Okay? So, uh, three very good reasons to watch this movie from a learning perspective. First of all, the main reason is that the dialogues of the movie were written by Jacques Prévert, who's a famous French poet. Nowadays, I mean, he's dead now, but okay, he was very famous. And so, the fact that the dialogues were written by a poet, it doesn't mean that the dialogues are like super formal or super polite, but it means that all the words, you know, were really carefully chosen and crafted with a lot of skills to make very beautiful sentences and very be beautiful dialogues that sound really great. And so it's really interesting from a French learning, like a language learning perspective, to listen to these dialogues because they sound really good and they make a very good use of the French language and the, how the words sound and how, how the word like goes together and I mean, okay, you get, you get the idea. The second good reason to watch it is that, like I was mentioning to you earlier, nowadays it's considered to be a monument of French cinema, so it's also interesting to watch it, in my opinion, from a cultural perspective. The main theme of the movie obviously is like tyranny and the dictator and tyrannical king and the revolution in the kingdom. So all of this is completely, completely linked to French history. You may know about a bit like French history, all the, all the kings, <coughs> sorry, and the revolution and everything. So it also makes sense to watch it from a cultural perspective. And also it's, since it's so famous in France, then you know, you, you will know like one of the most famous French movies. And Third reason, which is kind of a bonus reason, okay, is that at the time it came out, the movie also had a big impact worldwide, actually. Some of the most famous 
animation directors of the world they were directly influenced from this movie you can like see some articles online about this so in my opinion it's also interesting to watch it from a perspective of like the french cultural influence in the world okay so this was my suggestion of the month to watch like a french movie i'm sure you can find it online for those of you who like to download torrent illegal movies i also do it i'm not proud of it but you can easily find it online and for those of you who uh, watch movies legally then first of all congratulations to you and i'm also sure you can find it easily maybe on netflix or amazon prime or this kind of stuff or on dvd i mean you know how to look for movies so i let you do it you can let me know if you did watch it and if you did like it or dislike it but i i'm sure you won't dislike it because usually everyone like it because it's such a such a great movie so all right this was my suggestion bonne chance à tous ceux qui passent des examens bon courage pour vos révisions et je vous dis à la prochaine bisous à tous les amis